Wednesday morning glads. I'm Abby Ragsdale. And I'm John Christofferson, and this is your KWHS News. Seniors, two more colleges will be visiting this week. Everest College will be here today during advisory in the Commons. And tomorrow, Western State Colorado University will be here during advisory. Remember to get your hall passes from the counseling office to attend college visits. Students, Freshman Council is hosting a hat day today. If you need a wristband, please ask for a pass to get one this morning from the freshman reps at the table in the front lobby. Students, do you have a locker you want to keep for next year? Do you have a locker partner you want to change for next year? If you do not want a locker, no worries, but if you want changes, now's your chance. Please see your advisory teacher, the counseling center, or Mrs. Price in the main office this week and sign up for a locker and locker partner for next year. Since we have a limited number of available lockers, lockers will not be automatically assigned to current students for next year unless you sign up. Sign up and get yours now. Hey GLADS, if you are a senior taking classes at D3 My Way, we have a deadline correction for you. You must complete all work by May 15th. Don't delay, or you may not receive your diploma in May. Attention all students. There are no new book checkouts from the library. If you have overdue books, please return them to the library this week to avoid being put on conditions. Return your books to the library before or after school. All books must be returned by May 12th. If you want to know about any outstanding conditions or fees you owe, check Infinite Campus. Seniors, this is especially important for you because you must clear your conditions and fees ASAP to ensure you receive your diploma. Avoid the long line at the checkout by paying your fees in the business office now instead of exam week. Seniors, it's almost closing time and the yearbook staff has a deal for you. When you buy your senior yearbook this week, you can buy another yearbook from a prior year for an additional $10. So if you didn't buy a book your freshman year, now is your chance to get that one, but only while supplies last. It's a cool deal. If you haven't bought your yearbook this year, they are still only $65. Go to yearbookforever.com or the business office to buy yours before prices go up. Yearbooks will be distributed on May 12th. That's next Friday, and they will sell any extra books at an increased price, but only while supplies last. Students, we have some very talented artists here, and the UMB Bank at 502 Security Boulevard has a showcase of WHS student-created artwork. The art show will be up until May 5th, and you can stop by any time during normal baking hours to see it. Make some time to stop by the bank to check out the awesome work our fellow GLADS have created. Hey John, Miss Betsy's been busy in the kitchen this morning. Want to know what we're having? Of course. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Top of the morning everybody. The day is that there's very few left. Today we're going to have Super Nachos. That's what it is, Super Nachos. They made me forget. That's sad, huh? And then tomorrow we're going to have a meatball sub. Today, please, please, please pay your lunch charges. I'm calling all the parents of the students that owe, and if I don't get response, then I have to put you on conditions. And that just kind of messes things up. Thanks, and have a great day. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, you heard her. Please pay your lunch charges in the cafeteria or add money to your accounts. Stephen King, J.K. Rowling, Suzanne Collins, Michael Crichton, Nicholas Sparks, these are all people who have faced the challenge of a blank page and turned it into a novel and career. Do you have what it takes? Are you creative and motivated? If so, the Scribe Tribe wants you. We will give you the exciting opportunity to share your full-length manuscript with a literary agency. Applications are due by Friday, May 12th. See Mrs. Wickberg in room 110 for more information. Unless you're afraid of a blank page. Students, it's not too late to get some help with academic subjects. NHS is tutoring sessions during advisory. Stop by the library on Wednesday to sign up for a time and pick up a pass for Thursday. You will be able to use computers at this time too. If you need help, you should really check it out. Auditions for the Coalesce Color Guard team for the 2017-2018 marching band season are coming up. This week, auditions are on Thursday and Friday. Next week, they go from Monday through Thursday. All auditions will be in the small gym from 4 to 6 p.m. Please see Mr. Colgrove if you need more information. Now here's Dylan Ham with our sports update. Happy update, Glads. I'm Dylan Ham with your Gladiator Sports Update. 
Open gym times continue this week. Here's the lineup for Bowers Gym. Monday, ladies basketball from 6 to 8 p.m. Wednesday, ladies volleyball from 3 to 5 p.m. Thursday, men's basketball from 6 to 8 p.m. All boys interested in playing soccer next year. Miss Kennedy is having a meeting today at lunch in room 104. If you are unable to attend, please see Miss Kennedy for details. In tennis news, our ladies made up two rain snow games against Harrison and Sierra. The team is strong and ready for regionals this Thursday and Friday at Cheyenne Mountain High School. Our ladies soccer team has been working hard on some new strategies and showcased them against K City on Tuesday night, but lost a close one. The baseball team was supposed to be on the diamond on April day, but were canceled for weather. So they are on the hunt for a W in the makeup game today against Sierra at 415. Our Glads baseball team takes on the Purple School tomorrow and the weather is supposed to be fine for a wide field romp right here at home at 4 p.m. Go out and help them bring home a dub. Some of our fastest students on campus are on the road this Friday to kick off the Cinco de Mayo. Some track members will be at the Canyon City Blossom invite while others will participate in the Pueblo Centennial Twilight Meet. Either place, we wish them good luck in fast time. Best of luck to all of our sports teams this week. That's all I have. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Dylan Hamm. Back to you, John and Abby. Thanks, Dylan. We're winding down our reverse power videos this week. If you haven't recognized that special teacher, you still have some time. Until then, check out this shout out video for our amazing teachers. My name is Jasmine McLean and I gave my power card to Reggie. And I gave it to him because he's always so positive and asking people how their day is and smiling. And I truly don't think Widefield would be Widefield without him. And I'm Dylan Mack. My power card is to Miss Shoemaker because she's an excellent teacher and she helps everyone out. Hi, my name is Abby Ragsdale. My power card goes to Mrs. New. She's such a wonderful teacher, she's like a mom to me, and she does the news great. My name is Jada McDonald. My power ticket is to Miss Carmony. Miss Carmony is such an amazing teacher, she's like a mom. She helps anyone to around and will answer any questions that you may have about what she teaches. My name is Elsa Kanazuka and my power card goes to Mr. Stewart because he's a great teacher and he makes all students try to achieve their goals. Remember to continue to fill out those reverse power cards outside the attendance office. Our last video will air next week on May 8th. Students, the Widefield Facilities Department is looking to hire students who are 17 or older for their summer cruise. You must have a valid driver's license. The application is online at WSD3.org and the deadline to submit an application is May 12th. This is a full-time job. Hey GLADS, want some laughs before finals begin? You're in for a treat as the Gladi actors present May the Farce Be With You, a Star Wars spoof, this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Tickets are $7 for adults and $5 for students. The show starts at 7 p.m. See you in the auditorium. Students, it's that time of year again. If you'd like to run for student cabinet, you know, the ones who plan their pep assemblies, dodgeball games, and spirit days, or class council, they plan dances like homecoming and prom, petitions are now available. To run for office, you must have a 3.0 cumulative GPA and have your petition completed and submitted by May 9th. You may run for both cabinet and class council. See Ms. Ship in room 202 during lunch, advisory, or after school to pick up your petition to run. Elections will take place on May 17th and 18th in the small gym. And finally, seniors, here are some additional notices for you to put on your calendar as our year winds down. Senior exams are on Monday, May 15th for periods 5, 6, and 7, and Tuesday, May 16th for periods 1 through 4. Wednesday, May 17th is Senior Awards Night at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. The Senior Breakfast is on Thursday, May 18th at 7.15 at Cheyenne Mountain Resort. Tickets are $22 and are available in the business office. Friday, May 19th is graduation practice at 11.30. Please be on time. And of course, graduation is Saturday, May 20th at 9 a.m. Seniors, you must be in the small gym by 7.30. Don't be late. That's all we have for you today. This is the last month of school. Let's finish strong. I am Abby Ragsdale. Good luck to those students taking AP exams this week. I'm John Christofferson, and this is your KWHS News. Thank you.